Welcome inside Kauffman Stadium. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against the Kansas City Royals. All right, now, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Kansas City Royals. Just about set. So here's the lefty, Chris Bubich. Yeah, his ERA last year was a little worse than average, so I'll definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Takes it in for the out. Leori Garcia up to the plate. And fouled off. No score, just getting started, top of the first. On a line, base hit. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Jose Abreu up to hit. Good power. Not great runner, in the going, old runner going. on the goal. Right side. Merrifield drops steps, heads back on it. Takes it in for the out. Batting four. The catcher. Yasmani Rondon. Man at first. Now, here is Yasmani Grandal. You know, when you look around the game and think about the best power hitters in the sport, this guy is one of the first names you got to come up with. That's towards center. Taylor under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. We go to the bottom of the first with Merrifield up to the plate. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And that chance handled. To first, one up, one down. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. First offering, and it just misses. The 1-0. Fly ball down the line. Vaughn on the run towards the line. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he's there at third with a triple. So one gone with a runner at third. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. The catcher. He swings and fouls one off. And the pitch. That's outside. On the ground to third. He fires home for one. And he'll be safe at first. I think he could have had a better read than that. With the infield back and a ball on the ground, you're expected to score if you're going to go. To get thrown out at home plate, that's probably a bad jump by the base runner, but an excellent play on defense. Here's Hunter Dozier to the dish. In there, and it's 0-1. And here it comes. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Vaughn makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. And stepping in is the speedy Luis Robert. And first offering is fouled off.
that one down the line. Witt over to first. And a quick out number one. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. His second of the year, and just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So one out, nobody on. Eloy Jimenez now. That is that is the designated hitter. Eloy Jimenez. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swings through that. That looked like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. Pulls that one foul. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on and such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Andrew Vaughn now. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one, double play, and that'll do it for the inning. The White Sox with the homer to get things going. It's an early 1-0 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And to the play for Kansas City, Carlos Santana. And that one hit to first. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And Alberto Mondesi stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, but he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a guy is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially the guy's earned it. The umpire rolls with him. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. First offering misses the mark. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate away and down and why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball that one spoiled and the count now two and one Santana the runner at first with one gone in the inning here comes the pitch runner breaks for second and Benintendi is out Well, that actually works out for the hitter. If it's not a broken bat, it's hit hard enough for a double play. But with the slower roller, defense does a nice job at least getting one out of it. And yeah, the batter now, Michael A. Taylor. And there's a foul ball. This one lifted in the air, left field. Vaughn makes the catch, and that'll do it. Royals lead one. They're down one nothing. Back here in Kansas City, new inning getting started. Here is Yoan Moncada. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit.
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Gathers and throws to first. And one away in the top of the third. At the plate, Leori Garcia. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. And there's two away. Jose Abreu steps to the plate for the White Sox. Ripped on a line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. The run comes in from second. It's 2 nothing, And he's there with a double. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Mondesi handles. Sends it across the first. And that is that. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And it's two zip. Bottom of the inning, so up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. Here comes a pitch. The third baseman. There's a strike. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. And down on strikes he goes. One down. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Anderson makes the grab. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now, Nicky Lopez. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. And it's even up. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. With two outs, one swing, puts you right back in this ball game. That one the other way. Anderson whips it to first on the run. And that is that. Royals go down one, two, three. They trail things here, two nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Now at the plate, Luis Robert. Bubich back to work. Late on that fastball. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. 0 oh 2 as he waves at that one. And now the lefty out towards right center field. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. One away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. And here is Aloy Jimenez. One for one with a single so far. Aloy Jimenez. And he grounds one back up the middle. Lopez tosses the first. And the White Sox. 
Ready to go. Bottom four. And to the plate for Kansas City. Salvador Perez. The catcher. There's a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Kick Sandios. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Up next to the Warriors, the designated hitter, Hunter Dozier. So here's the Royals DH, Hunter Dozier. Hey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All ones to count. And down on strikes. Two gone now. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Oh, another one right there. They've the clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Next to hit, Carlos Santana. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. The other way. And there's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here. As and makes the play, and that's out number three. So one left for Kansas City. They're still down. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now the left fielder, Andrew Vaughn. In the air, out towards right center. Merrifield sizes this one up. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. And there's one away. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Puts it away for the out. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The pitch. To the right side, Lopez picks it up, tosses to first, and they take care of Anderson for the out. And that's the third out. One, two, three, go the White Sox. But they're on top two, nothing. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. That one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And now one away. Michael A. Taylor steps in for the Royals. He's over one. Michael A. Taylor. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. This to third. What a stop. Nicely done for the out. This is such a difficult play for a third baseman, Chris. A sliding stop and worthy of another look with StatCast. Oh, I'll tell you, man, I'm frustrated if I'm the one hustling down the line the whole time, thinking I've got a knock and going to beat the throw, and then, boom, you hear the ball hit the mid, and you're out. That's just a great stop and great throw. Now here's Bobby Witt, Jr.,
Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And he'll two. Good eye right there. The wind and the pitch. Right side. Now the throw to first on the run. That's the third out. Casey. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the second baseman, Leori Garcia. At a swing and a line drive at a right field. And there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Knocks it down. Goes to second. Safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. And the Royals manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Chris Bubich is done. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout and will be back with a new pitcher. Now on the bump, Joel Pyams. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And the righty deals. This one in the air center field. Makes the catch and there's one gone. Luis Robert now. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate but also in the field. Next pitch has popped up. To the right side. It's in and out of his glove. But they get the out at first, and that'll. Bottom of the six. Now it's the right fielder, Whit Merrifield. The wide to kick the pitch. The right and ball, ball one to the right way. fielder. Merrifield. The lefty, the 1 0. Foul ball there. Ball to strike. Fouled off. He was late. Kicks and fires. Got him looking. And there's one away. Now just rip a page out of the Greg Maddox playbook. Throw that pitch at the hip and just watch it jump back over the inside part of the plate. Tell you what, you are baffled expecting that to almost hit you and then end up as a called strike. Moncada tossed to first. And they get him trying to bunt for a hit. Two outs, space is empty. And next up for the Royals, Salvador Perez. First pitch, and he just misses. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Line drive, and that's just foul. And now it's one and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That hits the dirt. The count now two and two. The pitch. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. And that is the inning. Nothing doing for the Royals. They trail it here, two nothing. And welcome back. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Leading off to the right side. The designated hitter. Aloy. And the right hater back to work. Jimenez. Swings through that oh, one out in front that time. 
the 0 1. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's one down. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Vaughn, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Line drive, caught! And now Yohan Moncada. In the air, left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. Seventh inning. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the DH. Hunter Dozier. That's in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. The line of the pitch. Stays alive. to third. Moncada picks it up. Fires over to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Santana in the box now. No balls and a strike. He'll walk. Late swing fouled off. And a pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And a pitch. Swing and a line drive caught. Adelberto Mundesi up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one handled. Sends it to first. Third out. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the White Sox. A new arm into the game, the righty, Domingo Tapia. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. The wind of the pitch. Anderson now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Righty delivers. Swing and a pop-up. Lopez on the move. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one down. Leori Garcia steps to the plate for the White Sox for the fourth time tonight. Bounced up the middle. The throw to first. And a couple of quick outs. Showed us right there why he's considered one of the best middle infielders in the sport. That's always a tough play going up the middle on the backhand. But what really made this play happen was that quick release, smooth exchange, and that was a... Can't get there. Base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And it's a double, making him three for four on the day. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up in second. That's hard hit in the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that.
On to the bottom of the eighth. Andrew Benintendi steps up. Keiko back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. And a big swing and a miss. The 1 1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. 1 2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Well, I think he was waiting on the changeup right there, and he got it. It just drifted too far in on him. I think that pitch is just a little more out over the plate. Probably squares it up, but instead, he's going to have to go take a seat. Taylor stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. Number seven, Bobby Witt Jr. First offering ball misses one, badly for ball one. And that's in for a strike. And he deals. And a foul ball. The one two. And a base hit right there. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. With the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around third. He will score, and they trail by one. Well done. Drives in the run. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. On the ground right side. Over to Abreu. Inning over. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth, and now it's Luis Robert. And a pitch. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Hauls it in for the out. A.J. Pollock at the dish. This one in the air right field. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And he's got a double. Next is the designated hitter, Aloy Jimenez. One for three. Next pitch has popped up. Lopez gets under it. And he makes the catch. And there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And next to him for the Sox, Andrew Vaughn. Foul ball. Man on second, two down. Line drive. Brings it in for the third out. Part of the order. Back here in Kansas City. Now it's going to be Salvador Perez. That's through there for a strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there.
Smash down the left field line. Vaughn puts it away, and there's one down. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but no reward right there, and just going to have to sit on it. Dozier in the box now. Take strike one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Deal two. On the ground to the left. Moncada handles the chance. Rolls across the diamond. And a couple of quick outs. Now and now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Santana. In there for strike one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. That one pushed foul. Just one strike away. Oh, that guy. Up the middle, and a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Two outs. Bounce to the left side. Anderson collects. Ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. tonight first for the victorious White Sox two runs nine hits no errors they left seven men on base for Kansas City one run on six hits no errors they left five men on base time of the ball game two hours and 39 minutes thank you for joining us here this evening Yeah. Mm -hmm.